Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a lineup build for the LEC slate, which starts in, well, only about an hour. So I don't believe it's going to really help anybody on this particular day. But a couple of people from my Discord have asked me to do kind of a lineup building video of how I build League of Legends lineups with uh, various tools available. So we're going to use this as kind of the example of what to do. So we have to start with some projections, right? It's it's the median projection in a League of Legends um, game is very fragile to say, to say the least, but you have to start with somewhere. You could either use the Saber Sim ones or the ones that you have true DFS or whatever, okay? But you have to start with something if you're going to build lineups the way I do, okay? So I'm going to just upload what I have. And... And um, let's go do this. Let's make sure we have everybody in that, that's in. It's good. Captains, let's make sure that there's a captain ownership in there. Okay, so actually, one thing we have to change is the captain ownership. Uh, that's one little glitch with uh, with um, SaberSim is when you import it. It just imports your ownerships to here. So I'm going to use the captain ownerships from Saberson. That's one tweak you have to make. So I'm going to be playing a full 35 lineups in this thing. So we're just going to start by just running things normally. Okay. And we're going to use their regular settings, whatever that is. I mean, you could make it 150 max, but let's just see what it is. Is it any, I don't even think you could, make I don't even think it's 150 max tournament so it's somewhere in between so let's keep it at 20 max and let's just rebuild our lineups and we're going to build how many are we building that's a good question we're building we're building somehow 5,000 lineups I mean, we don't need to build 5,000 to get what we want but let's just do it anyway let's see how long it takes actually See, the problem is if you build 5,000 lineups, then once you start filtering for uniqueness and things like that, you're probably going to get more really awful lineups than you want. Then again, there are one, two, three, four, five full games. Maybe maybe you should build all 5,000. So let's, 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 let's stick with that for now. It's what, what's a good idea usually is to multiply the amount of lineups that you that you want to play by 100. So usually if, if you're playing 35 lineups, you really only need to build, you know, 3,500 to get a decent pool. Um, so let me just uh, pause this for a second. And when this comes, you know, this will finish in a minute, but you don't need to watch this for a minute. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, look at that. I guess it got through all the combinations pretty, 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 pretty quickly, I guess. And okay, here we go. So what we're looking at here is the Saber Sim, the Saber score best 5,000 lineups that are sorted by Saber score. And here's your, here are the top 35. Okay. Um, so here's a little bit of a little trick, I guess. You really want to just make sure that the type of stacks that they give you is what you want. So, cause th this is what happens sometimes. It, Saber Sim is not a hundred percent perfect with this. They give you a lot of these four, two stacks sometimes. And, and you could accept that those are what you want. Okay. Um, but you could also be a purist and say you only want four or three. That's the best I can describe this decision. I personally uh, want to only opt for the four threes. So what I'm going to do is I unclick this one and just live with this, right? So what we're looking at here is just the top 35 lineups that are you know, sorted by Sabre score, okay? 
Um, and what's odd here is that this ownership looks really, really off. Actually, maybe it doesn't. Like, are these ownerships correct? Like, is FNC is 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 Noah really nine percent owned? Well, let's just take a look. No, I I have him at eleven. Oh, I know what I did because I. Well, that's actually that's not bad though. Oh, it's using the um. Okay, it's it's using the uh, what you call it? The saber someone's over here. Okay, that's fair. Um, so the next thing I want to do is take a look at team stacks and see what we're getting. Um, we're getting it looks like forty seven percent G two forty percent TH. I mean, this this is a pretty decent spread of these of this exposure. I mean. I, Oftentimes in, in LOL, they really want you to jam like one team. This is not bad, right? So part of me just wants to just go with this if you want to know the truth. But 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 what I would like to do is at least run a contest sim. So let's just let's just do that. Um under contest sim settings, we already saved this. There's eleven hundred and seventy-six people in this, or pre presumed. And these settings will allow you to run this contest sim, which, which again, for those of you doing this for the first time, what this is doing is creating a field of lineups that's get, that that you're going to compare your five thousand lineups to, to hopefully tailor your lineups to the particular contest that you're playing. Um, it's using the saber sim ownership to do that, which is probably good enough. So when we do this, let's see what we come up with. So under LEC Shock Blast, which is this is the lottery we're playing, we click on Risk Adjusted ROI, and then it will resort all these by which lineups do the best against that particular field of lineups. So now it's getting a lot more RGE, a lot more FNC, you know, and and less of the G two which was, you know, really uh, really well represented before we, uh, you know, apply the contest sims. And for me, the way I look at it is sort of like hockey, and it's they're, they're very similar sports in that there's a lot of correlation involved, that there's usually, when there's a gap between what you'd be getting without simulating the contest and what you get when you do simulate them, I think the contest sims are very, very powerful in those situations. So for me, this probably is the end of the, of the analysis. And I'm just going to go with these, like, for example, but one thing you could do, well, first of all, let's go back to stack exposures. All right. We're still all four threes, which is good. Um, what you could do is try to mess with min uniques a little bit and see if we could still get, and this isn't bad. So that's the thing is like you can keep on screwing around with this. And get a little bit more diversification and still get high upside lineup. So here we're getting more RG, more G2. And I guess, you know, in, in a sport, this is the first day, maybe this is not the worst idea in the world. Just get a little more spread out as far as your exposure goes. Okay. Um, so I could just go with this, but one other thing you could do is do what, what I do a lot, which is geo mean filtering. And, uh, that just makes sure that you have a chance of being unique. Now, in these one, two, three, or five game, uh, whatchamacallit, five game LEC slates, it's not as difficult to get unique as these two game, you know, uh, uh, LCK slates overnight. But let's just, for the hell of it, let's just make sure that we know what we're doing here. So we'll do a geo mean filter. And what that means is we're going to pull out our spreadsheet and we're going to put in contest size 1176. There are six players in the lineup. Actually, there's seven, right? Seven in the lineup. And let's say we want, let's say we want no more than one dude. Okay. So the geo means got to be only 36.4. And I can just tell you right now that these are all going to be fine. Okay. Uh, I would imagine these are all going to be fine. 
Let's just take a look though. Because you have all these like low owned captain spots. But just so we see what we're doing here. Select geo mean less than 36 or whatever. I mean, it's not gonna make any differences, right? And I will probably just go with this. And and unfortunately, I wish it were more complicated than that. But when you already are starting with a decent set of good projections, just double check to make sure that the stack exposure is what you want, four or three, which is fine. And you run your contest sim correctly. And I think you're probably in pretty good shape. Um, so all we have to do is upload these to the to the lottery and we're good. And then what we're gonna do for the um, for the bigger buy-in is literally just go for the, uh, uh, we'll just go for this small slate, kind of the top rated lineup here. And this makes, makes sense. We don't have to worry about this at all. Play the top rated lineup as far as the contest sim goes, or as far as the Sabre score goes. We'll put that into the Triumph Warrior and we should be good there. Now we'll upload those into DraftKings, and that's it. Now again, this is this is this is. And remember, this is once you have the projection stuff. This is once you've done your your fundamental research and made your tweaks. This is pure lineup build, uh, and that's what people wanted. So that's uh, what I'm showing you. Uh, that will do it. Good luck, everybody.